Keeping up appearances, Daddy's accident. Dog barking, siren blaring. We're going to have to tell our Hyansif. Oh, God, not tonight. Tomorrow morning. I can't face Hyansif. Not tonight. Now, ladies. Who are you? Are you around here, lady? You're not, you're nothing. How are you nothing for this address? Sorry. I'm being obliged. You make quite sure. There's usually something for Mr. Ro- 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 Richard Bouquet. Do you, how do you spell Bouquet? B-U-K-E-T. What? Bucket? Oh, Bucket. It's Bouquet. I'm oh, sorry, lady. Nothing here for Bouquet. Nothing for this address. Do you have something for next door? I find that very strange. I can't help that, lady. But people tell you it's common knowledge. To see more mail than those that lives next door. It has to be... Must be a car for my sister in Tenerife. You know what? Just came back. But they're still waiting for the card. Are you wrong, Hysif? You just mislaid my letters at the sorting office. That would never happen with my former postman. You remember, Elizabeth? You invited this evening to my candlelight supper. It's engraved in my heart, mind, Hysif. Telephone, dear. You want to on telephone? Think it's urgent. I'm not offering an opinion. That's what she said. Urgent. Please don't shoo in that excitable manner outdoors, Richard. I don't like you getting excited outdoors. Dog barks. Good morning, Major. By God, woman, you should drive a man man looking so attractive so early in the morning day. Oh, Major, you not forgot my little candlelight supper this evening? Not even 30 hours. I've been here, you minx. Can always tell, breeding. The telephone hinds it. I think it's urgent. About your father. We're going to have my... Have an evolution, em, evolution in the ceiling. Evolution in the ceiling. Well, we just did it. In order to fix ceiling to bring, bring a major under. It's your sister Daisy. She's not coming, is she? Not in that awful coat. He's not bringing her. Not in that rust bucket of a car. We have not have them. I think it's urgent. It's so thoughtless to look at, at to look the poor as they do. Daisy, how are you, dear? Daddy ill? How ill? Is it? Is it of the severity necessary to cancel my candlelit supper? What was he doing at his age on a bicycle? Oh my God! How much did he drink? Yes, Hyacinth. What did she say? He says not to go over her place. She's coming over here. That's all that you need. A well visit. I was hoping she'd go straight to the hospital. She won't let anyone in until they won't let anyone in until visit time. Don't you remember? Was living, having the back break going on account of Mr. Crabtree. What would happen to Mr. Crabtree? I swore I'd never seen him again. After a while, I cut back ruthlessly to it every other Tuesday. Does Boris know? You don't. And you still see Mr. Crabtree? Of course he doesn't. You think I'm stupid? I know how to keep you. I don't know how to keep the pace, Rose. Not easy. You relax for a minute. You're going to back. They're going back to the wives. I am you, Daisy. Me? Just wonderful. Being married to a bum like, like yours, though. So you can see yourself go completely. I wouldn't say completely. Enough. Fair enough. enough. Near enough completely. Get a shirt on, Oslo. How is this coming? How nice. Going to want to know exactly what happened. I have to tell her. Don't see why I should have to tell her. You have to tell her because I'll be too busy tidying up. I hate tidying up. And the doctor have been dizzy. I'm sure you're tidying. I'm sure it's tidying up. If you, if you only got to tidy up, Dizzy, when you tidied up, you should have had the clearest head in the area. You're going to park in the turning area? There's no room in front of the house. It blocks the road. Have a game if you are. You want to block the road. Just as I only wish. You wouldn't consult me. I don't like you making decisions unliterally. Would you like me to lock the car? Think so. Don't you... Don't you? We're practically in Beirut, Onslow, whistling, Dicky. How in the Why do you let him call you Dicky? Can I help it if he calls me Dicky? Onslow, whistling. Queen Mother's outside. Give me a hand, Rose. Inspect and call. Give, give Boris his, this number. Swine promises ring. Leave it, leave it, bar squeals. Richard, now what? You shouldn't be stretching your legs like that at your age. Not fitting in broad daylight. If I'm prying in front of prying eyes, 
gunfire, yelling on TV. Can opens. Daisy, here we are then. Thanks, Daisy. Tink up. Tell me what's happened. Daddy's been seen well. Been well lately? I said, well, I wasn't informed. Been kind of not well. You want to be informed about. What kind is it? has it been? Bit embarrassing. Embarrassing, Daddy? He's a dirty old man. Shut up, Onslow. We should go and keep the eye on the car. I think I'll go and keep an eye on the car. What does that Onzo mean? He means Daddy's going to going out one night, out of night his own lately. In the nutty, nutty, loves claims. But but why would Father be in the nude? Oh, he loves it. He's a lovely milkman. Don't be so ridiculous. You know, no thoughts. So if you have been pedding after him, start naked on his bike. Chased her all for a mile down by the lake canal. A boat woman didn't go anywhere near the canal, does she? She did last night. He caught her on the way to bingo. Well, you know how fond of it he is of his dairy products. I bet he wanted to order extra cream. How would your father? Why would your father have been, na- have been naked? I don't believe it. You keep your voice down. It's bad enough for his clothes on. Daddy never, 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 he would never be naked. Why would Daddy be naked when he's got his name down for a nice old pension person's pangolo? This way, Miss Buffett. Bouquet. This bouquet. How are you feeling, Miss Bo- Oxley? Chuckles. Better than him, me, him, Daddy. Afraid you won't be aware of much, Miss Bouquet. Bu- bouquet. He's quite comfortable, but heavily sedated. Oh, Daddy. Should you be in a ward where a person wears his hat in bed? I'll leave you with your father, Doctor. What condition was my father in when he was admitted drunk as a skunk? A bit his flush from excessive circling. We describe what he was wearing, Doctor, very quickly. Very little, really. Be honest, nothing at all. There must be some mistake. That's what I thought. It was quite a chilling evening. He'd been in the canal. Was it? Was it? He was plastered. He wobbled off the canal. That explains it. My father was cycling along the canal. Saw someone in distress. He moved his outer garments and dived in to save them. Oh, brave daddy. Very condemnable. He must have moved more than his outer garments. He must have moved more than his outer garments, Miss Bouquet. They have pulled out. He was almost absolutely naked. Pollution. he have been wearing was obviously polluted, dissolved by pollution. Excuse me. I must attend to my other patients. Why is he sedated for such a plucky act? He is highly excited. And of course, there was an injury. For the milk bottle? Poor lamb. Where is where is injury? You may tell me the worst. Miss oh miss, I uh, the mind you show me the extent of his injuries. Very well, where is the injury? No, never you mind. What is it? how are the things? I'm too distressed at the moment, Elizabeth. My father's recovering from injuries he sustained. Of course a very lucky action while he was modestly forbids me discuss. Oh, is there anything? Just give me the time to recover from my composure. Then come and take tea. Me at three twenty-five. Three to five. Not twenty-seven. Doorbell. Doorbell rings. Oh, it's you, Elizabeth. Tiny bit early. Perhaps you don't do. But do come in. Oh, it was three twenty-five. No, not quite, dear. My watch says three twenty-five. Oh, let's watch. Yes, I bet it would. So we go through to the kitchen. I don't know why you won't let me through at your back door. I think it's so common. Don't you using back doors? No, the proper but I guess I was filled with food at the front door, then straight into the kitchen. Well, yes, unless of course it's something special. I mean, now I know you're saying to yourself, "Who is she being? Why? Is she, how is she being so brave?" Well, yes, I'm brave. Father well, would wish it. I, I admit, Miss Sheridan, at times like these, he must. I'm sure he's a comfort to his mother. I admit, I miss Mike Sheridan at times like these. He's such a comfort to his mother, as well as being terribly gifted. Do sit down, Elizabeth. Make yourself at home. Not there, dear. I like to face the window. Lemon? My word. Does, does lemon, doesn't does someone look smarter than you did earlier? Something new, dear? No, no, I had it ages, yes. I can see you have now. Thought we had a nicer china. Oh, thank you, Hyacinth. There's something of a family heirloom. Oh, God. Don't give me anything special. You could be, you'll be careful, won't you, dear? 
Biscuit cap rattles. Rattles. Thank you, Isif. I used to have six of these until one fell on the hands of my brother-in-law on on Christmas. I could have killed him, of course. One can't make a fuss at festive occasions. You certainly got a short end of the turkey, I can tell you. Do they tell you what was wrong with your father? Something mildly embarrassing. One of those major direct complaints. I couldn't catch the medical terminology. Oh, no. You can't. You can't. You could not have a number 24. Nor a double fortune 27. This isn't a Chinese takeaway. It's a private subline white phone telephone with no connection whatsoever to business or trade, especially not one to forget foreign extraction. I oh, heard I'm so sorry. How do you stop wor- wor- now do stop worrying, dear. We're not going to fall over a cup and saucer. Even a very old, impressible cup and saucer. Oh would it oh it would happen to me, believe me, I do understand. It can't be easy to be dainty when you got the, when you're all thumbs. Yeah, I think I would do until I can afford a little more time. Oh dear, I'm not going to worry anymore. But a bit of expensive cup, cup it and cup that have been around for ages. Who is reminds me? Did you saw your dress, dear? Oh no, no, no! No surprising. You didn't. I'm fine. It's amazing. Would you like another cup of El Grey? No, thank you. A beaker, perhaps? No, no, nothing. Thank you. No. Well, it's all over now. All over everywhere. Do sit down again, Elizabeth. Have you heard about from Gail late recently? She rang at the weekend. That's nice. I think daughters always should. Girl's very good that way. So is my tat Sheridan. I tremble to think sometimes what he spends on phone calls to his mother. Not that he can afford it, of course. They gave him a good grant, a Polly, you know, to stop him being tempted by Oxford or Cambridge. Girls studied hard. It's strange, isn't it, when they know a camera gifted. Our girl is a camera read gifted. Is she? I wonder who I can be confusing her with. Perhaps it's the boy she's living in so openly and extremely well married with. Hardly think so. Harry's a very nice boy with a very good brain. Is he? Yes, he is, Heinz, if I can assure you. You never know. Let a look at him, would you? Phone ringing. I hope you're not. D- I hope that dad is not going septic. The bouquet residence? Lady house speaking? Oh, it's you, Violet. It's my sister, Violet, the one who's married the turf accountant. He built a big house with a room for a sooner and a pony. You heard me speak of that about Violet frequently. Slow down, Violet, dear. You sound very excited. I know he's been quite shocked about Daddy. What are you excited about, Violet? That's not a word. I never expected to hear that. You use that on telephone? Bruce? What about Bruce? I don't... Oh, don't worry. I liked him. How holy on account of those ice cubes. So in a shape of naked ladies. Why should not you buy a whip? I expect you got on... I got, I got, I got from a jockey. Was he, what did he use it for? Right. Would you bring me back, dear? No, no. All right, all right. I'll stay on the phone. Hold on. There's a person on the front door. Livers, would you see to that to me, dear? Connie, inform them, whatever it, whoever it is. I'm at home. That I receive them momentarily. Oh, dear. It's Livers next door. That's right. One is always, who's all the thumbs. You met me once at my, when my candlelit summer, suppers. What do you mean you couldn't see anybody? Oh, she's fine. She's just broken one of her grandma's cups. Security latch. There's a little button. Richard had it installed to protect me from anyone desperate. <coughs> There'd have to be. Oh, electric. Have you been next door? Yes, there's nobody in. I know, I'm here. I left you a card. Oh, it's an electrician, electric man. Read the middle meter. It's the one with a funny moustache. Tell her it's yes. He says yes. Take him, make him wait while I look. I looked at his feet. But I have to go, dear. I've got electric. Oh goodness! I'm so sorry. I've been thinking about my sister. You seem to have been a rather active holiday. Oh, the shoes. Remember the procedure last the last time. Very well. Be on that side and go. It do come in. Thank you, my dear. A great improvement on the on the one I left had before. Used to brush around my walls. Of course, I rang his superiors. I said, I'm not having electrician, electric man brushing against my walls. Livers, close the door, dear. Heat's on. Oh, fingers cracked. Is your electric as clean as it was? Do you think? My hops. I said, oh, it's something very, sometimes very difficult to clean. Do you feel where there is? He goes, 
ghosts of some funny families. Would you mind to check to be quite sure I get it first? You me, lady, because you don't know. I won't have it if any of you've already been to some of the other places. My dear madam, much obliged. It's only me. Shouldn't, it be, shouldn't that be its only idea? Especially when you're shooting it from where the neighbours can hear. I'm not sure whether I do you. So you must be careful. How's your father? I rang the wall sister answered. She says he's sitting up, beginning to take an interest. That's good. In psych, it was very physiotherapist. He thinks he's in love with the physiotherapist. It's probably just the drugs. That's why Bruce wants my sister wear some awful leather outfit. Oh, it's going to take her motorcycling. Oh, it's not so motorcycling. It's something he's picked up from Spain. What? Born fighting? No, I don't think it is that either. Anyway, dear, enough of my problems. Did you manage to get my parsley? Yes, it's in the kitchen. You never guess who I bumped into. Good. Would you polish those glasses for me, dear, and give me a hand buffing the correct phone ringing Sheridan? That's as you call, dear. What a close psychic link we have, you and I. What does he, what does he want? Wants, wants anything? Just ring him, his mother. You need, you need how much, Sheridan? What? You join his organization? It's, ni- it's nice, dear, making friends. What kind of organization? It's like a club, a golf club, not a golf club. I see, it's a group of friends. Call yourself what? What, dear? The soul of the people. Be careful, Sheridan. You know what? Make sure you're not, they're not too sharp. Always wear masks. They do wear masks. Oh, it's very sensible. You pay daddy back when? When you robbed your first bank account, bank? Sheridan, look, dear. Couldn't you find something nice, politic society to join? No, we'll send you a check. No, we'll not send a check. Richard, that's Sheridan on the phone. Oh, now listen, Sheridan. Got you upset your father. I'm major. I'm not so sorry. Expecting another call, yes. Oh, yes, my candlelit supper's still on. It's been a funny day. But we have to press on. Would you like some flowers for milk or conservatory? How very kind. Yes, put them along. This, that's very civilised of you, major. Bye. What about you, Sheridan? Uh, but what about Sheridan? Didn't, don't send him money, him any money. Isn't it, this delightful? This is kind of you. I'll cut some prime blooms for you. Oh, lovely. You've grown them all yourself, especially for you. Oh, I must, I must rush. I left this oven on. Hi, if I don't know. You're so very lucky. Oh, oh. What's wrong now? Anything? Nothing wrong. As far as anyone is concerned, nothing is wrong. We're going to have a candlelit supper. It's going to be a usual success. It's seen no reason of a train. Our problems in front of other friends. Is the major coming? Yes, Richard. I do believe the major will be coming. It's a good job he's a major. If he's a servant, he won't be... He won't get a foot past the door. Theme music playing. <laughs>